this is Di, and we are on our third trip ever with our little trailer. We're in beautiful Yakima, Washington, on our way to the Columbia River to our campsite. one of our camping trip to Crow Butte, Washington. It was a state park and is now a privately owned park. We woke up and it was raining. I've got internet, so I've been shopping for the trailer. I want a sticker to go on the back of the door for every place we visit. This is our third stop and I haven't bought any stickers, so I found a website where I could order three stickers. There aren't gonna be stickers for this place, so I ordered a Washington State sticker. Crow Butte is named after the first family of white settlers to settle this area, the Crow family. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do with there being crows. Where's Jerry? He's gone fishing, which I think is awesome. I uh, now have a minute to myself, which is all good. That's the other side of the campground. Love these trees. They're so cool. Yeah, it sure is different. Camping in a trailer when it was raining outside, uh, it was warm in here. <laughs> I am so used to being rained out of camping trips in Washington State. Being able to stay and enjoy it, just be here for another day is so nice. I'm looking out the window. I was thinking, he's so cute out there, all by himself, because it's cold. He's out there fixing a chair that broke. And this is my tree house. I'm not quite sure why Jerry calls it the tree house, but it's been raining and we have a trailer. So there's no reason for me to be outside in the rain. So I just kind of cocooned here. I made this into a day bed. And I have my coat, my backpack, I keep, you know, my computer and all that stuff. I've got my books and I can just curl up here. I can do loaded dishes. That's where I go when it's wet out. But today's looking better. Look at the weather today. We hadn't been able to set up a picnic table because it had been too cold and wet. So I think now we can set it up. We've just been making hot dogs in the fire pit. It's supposed to get in the 60s today, so we should be able to go outside and enjoy this weather. This is our first time really camping with um, hookups. Our first camping trip, we were completely off grid. Our second camping trip, there was no dumping. And our propane wasn't working, so we didn't have hot water. We just had running water, that was it, and electricity. So now this trip we have full hookups. And this is a little cushier than we're used to. You know, the refrigerator's on, all those things which are just so strange uh, camping. They actually have okay um, cell service here. So I was able to use my T-Mobile hotspot and do a doctor's appointment remotely. We can definitely camp in more weather as long as it's above freezing. We don't want to freeze our pipes, but we're used to camping in the back of Jerry's truck or in a tent. And so this is the new development that we actually have, you know, a working toilet and a working sink and hot water. See, there's a shower up here. You sit on the toilet and take a shower. So that's gonna be a new thing to try. And this is the sink, which I cannot say enough good things about. Uh, I love having a sink quick access to my bed but having a sink is awesome and then this was the new thing I bought for this trip it came just in time we have an electric tea kettle here's my little my little system with my spices and two new ones <laughs> but I can't really say enough good things about camping when you have a sink and a toilet it makes all the difference you're probably wondering about the other trailer that we bought. This is shot in March of 2022 and 
Jerry had taken a window out of the trailer to fix a leak and it's not completely reseated yet. So we haven't been able to sell it. So we still have a trailer in our backyard besides this trailer, the one we're using. <laughs> our friends live about an hour away from where we were camping. And so we've driven to visit them. And this is the view of the Columbia River Gorge on our way. to pack up to head home. We need to have a little talk about the birds and the bees. <laughs> no, birds and the mirrors. Robins specifically evidently like mirrors during mating season. And it turns out this is a mating season. And it turns out, you know, it's spring mating season. And we watched our neighbors, very shiny chrome mirrors, get made love to multiple times. By the, by the robins. You see their own reflection and instantly fall in love and must yes. try to make contact. I think you said it. They were Twitter painted. Twitter painted. Yeah. To the point where the neighbors were covering their mirrors plastic with bag. plastic bags to dissuade the um, love lorn robins and then they had to cover their windows with plastic bags because they were looking at the reflection in the windows and you know pooping all over everything all right and they totally ignored our but i found out this morning that i got to participate in the robin mirror mating ritual not as much though so i don't know if you can see but this is all covered in what looks to be a kind of a beak attack and then we got poops all over everything too. Look at that. Out for south of Mapton? On 97? No. No. No, we're on some obscure road. I couldn't tell you the name of <laughs> And there's a mountain peak we're on there. We're like Townsend Road. And there's a mountain peak there. Rainier and Adams. Thank you. 